Aloha. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure coming to you from Waikiki Beach. I always can't help myself because when I sit here doing my radio show, I'm looking right out the ocean uh, from my window, and it's just beautiful, 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 deep blue uh, ocean at the su- as we're recording this at sunrise in, in Waikiki. We're stoked to have our guest today, Dr. Scott French. We'll be talking about the Shroud, the Eucharist, and the Doctor, Dr. Scott French. We'll be right back with more of the Bear Wozniak adventure. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. Aloha. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Convention. My wife always likes me to start my segments off, our show off by the sign of the cross in Hawaiian. And we especially lift this up for the for, for Lahaina. Me ka inoa. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Lord, we pray for a Lahaina, Imua Maui. Uh, bless the, bless uh, the people, uh, give them hope. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I don't know if people know this, but my dad was a deacon at the Catholic Church there at uh, Maria Lanakila Church, the, um, the, the Mary, Our Lady of Victory Catholic Church there that survived um, really the only building that survived there uh in in lahaina and so it's not it's you know it's interesting the school burned down but the church didn't the church is of course where the tabernacle and the eucharist is and uh it's so it's not that that church is a symbol of hope i mean we they started having mass right away there after the the fire it's not a symbol of hope it's the eucharist is there it's 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 hope itself and that's why I'm so stoked to have my friend Scott French. Dr. Scott French is in the house. He's been going all over the place talking about, in, in, in the Diocese of San Francisco right now, talking about the Shroud and the Eucharist, and really the miracle of both of those and what, and what who they point to. And uh, so coming to us from, I don't know if he's on the Big Island or if his, his, his cabin home up in, the, up in Idaho or somewhere in San Francisco. Aloha, Dr. Scott French. Where are you today? Aloha, Bear. I'm actually on my way to San Francisco in the morning, so I'm in transit, basically. Well, how do you get so, there? How do you get there from where? Where are you in Idaho? What What's the the nearest town that where you're at? Way up north. Spokane, way up north, Spokane, Washington would be. So do you drive to Spokane to take it? To, yeah, and then then fly from. It's there. about yeah. a two hour drive at least, isn't it? Yes. Uh huh. But it's it a is. beautiful drive through there, man. You're beautiful going, drive. You're going through Jack Kerouac country, aren't you? Yeah. Well, wasn't yeah. he a fire a fire watcher up there in one of the mountains between where you are and Spokane? I'm not sure if it's that I far. I believe he was. He was somewhere <laughs> up in there. Yeah. 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 Well, anyway, so we got Dr. Scott French with us today, and, and I don't know, man. We we met about a, a little bit less than a year ago, I think, or probably about a year ago. And we we're talking about um, working. We were doing something here with the bishop, and uh, like we just hit it off immediately. I don't know if it's uh, it, 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 you know. Maybe it's because we all we both have ADHD. Do you think you have ADHD? <laughs> I'm GPS challenged. I know that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but when we when we're you're, Jason Jones and I are the same, and you and I get together, we start talking. We're just like two fire hydrants, just going, just <laughs> going off. Somehow I'm listening, you're listening, we're communicating, but it's just a lot of information being being opened up. But you you're on a new adventure now. I know you're with the Magic Center. You've you're there. You've, you've helped Father Robert Spitzer so much there with that ministry. And now you're on a new adventure. Uh, and, and we, Cindy and I got to hear Father Robert Spitzer talk about the Shroud of Turin when we were at the Napa Institute a few years ago. We even, even got to have one of my cigars, you know, my Seven Virtue Cigars. Got yeah. to have one of my cigars <laughs> with Father Spitzer. He and loves go, to do the cigars. He yeah. does. <laughs> and I said I, 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 I said, I love your books. And he goes, oh. And then he be, suddenly became the, the president of Gonzaga University. We started wearing those shoes. He started giving me like a... a a pop quiz on his books, you know. I don't know if he knew that, but that, but I did. I guess I did okay. But no, but I know his interest in the shroud and your interest in the shroud are so, are you know, is is uh, you both have that same that same common bond of love for uh, an interest in the shroud. Tell us about what you're up to. Bishop Corleone has you. Is it Archbishop or Bishop? I forget. It's, it's Archbishop Corleone. Corleone. It has you out uh, talking all over the diocese about the shroud and the Eucharist. Tell it. T- tell us about. Tell it, go ahead. I'm just going to say, turn on the spigot. Let us hear. 
So, so this just started. Um, so it got launched uh, basically uh, like a week, a little over a week ago. So I've been back and forth. And um, Archbishop Corleone, you know, recognized that there's 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 a spiritual need. You know, everyone realizes that we're in this huge spiritual warfare over truth. And mm. and um, and you know, God, like just like the incarnation in the fullness of time, God gave us the Shroud of Turin and the 21st century Eucharistic miracles to show that you know there really is a God creator God that created both the physical world and the immaterial world which is our soul or spirit and and that's what the 21st century Eucharistic miracles show and so um, I've been giving this these talks all over as, as you know uh, also in, in 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 Hawaii I've been doing that at the parish that I go to there and uh, St. Michael's is Archangel and uh, Kailua Kona and uh, yeah, the you and Kailu Okone, isn't that the birthplace of King Kamehameha? Wasn't he from that area? He, yeah, he was born up in uh, Waipio Valley. Oh, and, okay. But he, that's where he established his, uh, his kingdom yeah. is in Kailu Okone. So we have they, you're at Michael the Archangel Parish. How cool! Well, t- yeah. just just tell us about get us rolling on this. Uh, give us kind of the give us the the the, the grit of your of of your teaching on this. Uh, so again, remember Father Robert Spitzer is all about how faith and science are not only compatible, but you know, we always talk about they're synergistic. You couldn't have science without a knowable, reasonable, rational world, and we've lost that. You know, this uh, gender change, all those things that we, we're anti-science now, even though we claim we're science. And so the culture has kind of gone off kilter. Well, again, in the fullness of time. Uh, the Holy Spirit gave us the Eucharistic miracles, 21st century Eucharistic miracles, and the Shroud of Turn, which show there really was a resurrection. God really was fully human, fully divine, um, and that um, it's both a sacrament and a sacrifice. And the bread does uh, is transubstantiated into the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ. And so. Um, that's really what this program is all about. And again, our culture does a great job of suppressing the truth. So <laughs> everywhere we go, it's, you know, wow, we've never heard this. And yet the Bible verses comport with modern uh, science. So, for example, in uh, 2022, the New York Academy of Sciences, hardly a religious organization, uh, validated, said basically, yeah, the evidence is overwhelming that your consciousness, which we call our soul, survives bodily death. You know, the basis of that is, you know, the evidence of the near-death experiences. And so mm-hmm. the Eucharistic miracle is the same thing. It shows that it truly is the blood it, of Jesus Christ. It, it's, it's amazing. We talk about Dr. Spitzer's one of his, in his books when he explores those issues. Uh, some of the cases they talk about is someone who is blind, Dying uh, from birth, yeah. Dying from birth, so they it, have no neurons that have visual information. And, and, and yet, children. Yeah, and it, yeah. It, I think is isn't that the one? There's one incident I remember where the person died died in the hospital, and their soul left their body, and they could describe a color of pair of shoes up on the roof or something. Was that the same incident? Yeah, it, 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 it's a person blind from birth who yeah. is having some sort of procedure in a hospital, and he floats outside of body like all these do. Uh, again, blind from birth, so he has no neurons in his brain that have visual information, and he's getting CPR. He's clinically dead. You know, that's when, like, I'm an ER physician, so it's like when people are, were doing pumping on their chest and breathing for them. So his brain's certainly not working, and he ne- doesn't have any neurons that have visual information. So he floats through the walls, the the floors, through the fourth floor, floats outside the window and window sill, and sees a pair of red sneakers. While again, his brain's not working, four floors down. How do you explain that? And there are thousands and thousands of stories like that across the world, validated by scientists across the world. So, so there's a difference yeah. between the between uh, the brain and the mind. Well, so what it is is we're in souled bodies. That's what this basically shows: is that you know the spirits, you know the the good spirits, you know, the angels, and the bad spirits, the 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 uh, devils, the the, uh, the demons, um, they have an intellect. Uh, but they don't have a body, and and we do. God loves life so much; He wanted to create uh, us, you know, in the image of God. When we have a body, and and uh, so that is and that's he, be, our and he, he loved and he loves. And we've human- lost that. 
And what's what's really fascinating is we're back to Gnosticism, which is really what John's got. Always comes about. back to the Gnostics. We're talking with uh, Dr. Always Scott. Always comes back to the Gnostics. Talk, we, remember, got to take a break. Got to take a break. We're talking yeah. with Dr. Scott French. Really important information. I got I got to ask you. How can people find you? Uh, it's Scott at MajaCenter dot com is the best email. Scott at Ma- MajaCenter dot com. How di- how cool is that for that? That's your email. Uh, this is the Bear Wozniak adventure. We'll be back with our guest, Doctor Scott French. We're going to talk more about uh, Eucharistic miracles and the Shroud of Turn when we come back. This is we'll we'll be right back. Now you can journey with other men on the adventure of a lifetime, growing in manly virtue. Through Bear's Man Cave community in our three-year school of manliness. Join at deepadventure.com. Better yet, you can lead your own sons through the same compelling video, audio, and written content. Can you imagine how much deeper your relationship with your dad could have been? And how much more you could have learned and pitfalls you might have avoided if your dad had a tool like this to help to draw you both into a deeper, life-changing discussion? Now you have a trigger that you can pull that will take you into gritty discussions with other men and with your sons at deepadventure.com. Deep Adventure Ministries is grateful to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union for underwriting the Bear Wozniak Adventure on EWTN. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union provides car loans, mortgages, SBA loans, and depository accounts nationwide, as well as 24-hour support. Go to deepadventure.com to find their link or go to notredamefcu.com. Mahalo to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union for making the Bear Wozniak adventure possible. You can gain traction in the virtues in my book, Deep Adventure, The Way of Heroic Virtue, and you can be inspired by my personal testimony of heartache and triumph with my book, A Surfing Guide to the Soul, both newly published by Sophia and available at our web store, deepadventure.com and also on amazon.com. This is a warning. The Bear Wozniak Adventure is dangerous. The radical change Bear challenges you to is not for wimps. Change this station now to a soft rock station before it's too late. You've been warned. Now, here is Bear Wozniak. Aloha, welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. I'm your adventure guide, Bear Wozniak. I want to invite everybody. Hey, guess what? My book, uh, 12 Rules for Manliness, Where Have All the Cowboys Gone? A, a, a title my wife inspired. Uh, we were driving along uh, Diamond Head here uh, a couple years ago, and she said, you're going to love this song. And Cindy turned up the radio, and it's Paula Cole singing, you know, where is my John Wayne? You know, where where is my happy ending? Where is, you know, she said, you 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 make the money, I'll raise the kids, you know, and then the, 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 the chorus ends, where have all the cowboys gone? I think right now with this attack against... Um, against uh, men uh we're not victims it's up to us to stand up and not 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 uh, be victims we're not talking about being macho we're talking about being manly remember the virtue word has the word ver in it and if you take your latin course you'll know that ver means man so someone who's manly is someone that ha- lives the life of justice self mastery prudence fortitude and faith hope and love the seven virtues we got one of those guys on our show today dr scott french is coming to us from idaho He's on his way to Spokane to fly down to the San Francisco area and and give his, and give uh, his talks on the Shroud of Turin, and uh, and the Eucharist. So so Doctor Doctor uh, French uh, Scott, if you will, <laughs> uh, you know the 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 yeah the, these these the, the thing is that Jesus uh, became uh, he loves the human body and he loves the human uh, soul, you know, and he became flesh for us. And so when we talk about the Shroud of Turin, it really, let's dig into that because it really, it, it's absolutely phenomenal what we know about the Shroud and how the, the original, you know, I think about 30 years ago, they, they took a sample from the wrong side of the Shroud, an area that had been burned and then re, then, then re-sewn together by the nuns. And so they carbon dated it and, uh, and uh, it was considered to be a medieval uh, 
piece of cloth. But in actuality, now with all the tests that are being done, they know that it's 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 a shroud that was probably made somewhere in the first century and probably somewhere in Palestine because of the little uh, pollen and seed that they found in the cloth. So now give us the whole deal on the shroud in 10 minutes or oh. less. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and the shroud is connected to the 21st century Eucharistic miracles. So the image on the shroud is evidence of the resurrection, just like the 21st century Eucharistic miracles are evidence of, of, the, um, of the resurrection because you see in the uh, Eucharist, you see live, living heart flesh, and you have white blood cells in the uh, outer wall of the of where it would be the ventricle, uh, which in white blood cells only exist outside the body for about 30 minutes. And so that shows that, uh, yeah, so that shows that um, this is truly that that bread turn substantiation is correct. The Sokoko Poland. Um, a miracle in uh, October 15th, 2008, uh, shows on our electron microscopy, you can't tell where the bread stops and the heart tissue well, begins. Well, wait, back up a little bit. What do you mean by that? You tell, tell us about that, the, the context of that particular miracle. You know, so, the... so, so in all these, all the 21st century Eucharistic miracles, uh, there are four of them. Uh, there's Buenos Aires in 1996, and the reason we consider that a 2000, 21st century Eucharistic miracle is because the studies on it didn't come out till 2005. So there's the 1996 Eucharistic miracle. There is the um, um, there is the Tixla, Mexico Eucharistic miracle, which is on October 22nd, 2006, 10 days after Blessed Carlo Cudis died. Um, and then uh, the one in Sokoka, Poland, is on the same day that Carlo Cudis died, 2000, uh, October 15th, but two years later, 2008, and Carlo Cudis died. Next one is Linica, Poland, I mean, Linica, Poland, which uh, was on December 25th, 2013. So God has a sense of humor. Well, wait, so, which, yeah. which one of these uh, was the one where the priest did not believe that, it, that the, it, the, the Eucharist was the body, blood, soul, and divinity? And well, it, all of them, the scientists, so what happens with any miracle, they send them to secular... Well, just, just give us one example, like what happened with the one you first mentioned in Poland. There, there was something happened at Mass, it just described the, the, that experience. Yeah, so and then so what, what happens in almost all these cases, a host falls to the ground, um, and then you discover it afterwards. And you know, if they discover it right away, they'll consume it, but they discover it afterwards, so they put it in a, a water container, which is, and mm. and they which it's supposed to dissolve within a week or two and in all these cases when they go back a week or month or whatever it is later and it's still there and it develops a red spot and that red spot turns out to be type AB blood the same blood that's on the shroud of Turin and then it also then turns into heart tissue living heart tissue just like we said living for years after and so the the one in Buenos Aires is where a uh, cardiologist in uh, in New York, Dr. Zugabi, he was examining it, and they hadn't told him where this came from. He said, well, you've got a piece of living heart tissue. This person was under stress. Um, you can tell that there's, you know, it's beating around the chest or whatever. How did you get this piece of living well, heart wait, how, tissue? How did he know that? How did he know that it was under Because he stress? was a pathologist and a cardiologist. He was a world expert What on was that. the so evidence? Was it the type of uh, um, blood? Yeah, so there's, cells? there's broken, yeah, it's it's... It's medical terminology, but basically there are there are broken muscle fibers in the heart, and then the white blood cells are signs of stress, and and basically that relates back to Luke twenty two forty four. Remember, Luke was a Gentile physician. That's when Jesus sweats blood. Um, well, that's a sign of of stress, and we have modern day examples of this where a woman was um, saying goodbye to her uh, husband and children right in front of them. Right in front of her, they were killed in this horrific car accident, and she fell to her knees and sweat blood. So that's why it's in the Bible, is to show that Jesus you know, he had physical, psychic, and spiritual stress too, right? He had mental stress, physical stress, and spiritual stress. And that's why it's in the Bible, so that when in the 21st century, because God's outside of time, mm -hmm. he could say, hey, look at this. There's what living white blood cells that shows it was under stress, just like we know he poured out his blood for us to defeat sin and death. Well, 
Speaking of, of pouring out his there. blood for us, isn't it, isn't it also all of these are taken from the, 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 the part of the heart that pumps the blood out? Yeah, the left ventricle uh, and type AB blood is the universal recipient, whereas type O is universal donor. And so again, so again, showing how God is outside of time, the first Eucharistic miracle where it turns into heart tissue is in Lanciano, Italy in 750. And that also has type AB blood. And of course, they didn't have microscopes. Wait a minute, in, in 750 AD? 750 and, AD. Do we still have that host? And we can... They, we they, still they, have that. That that tissue still is, is still there 1,300 years later. And it's heart tissue. It wasn't studied until It's always heart tissue in these Eucharistic always, miracles. Always, because again, Jesus's sacred heart. This the sacred heart of Jesus, yes. Sacred heart of Jesus. This stuff is real, just like, like St. Faustina saw. I mean, it's the sacred heart of Jesus. And he's giving us modern, because now we have electron microscopes. Now we can look at this. That's why he's given us this evidence of 21st century. Hey, guys. This it's scientific is, evidence. It's not like. It's scientific <laughs> evidence. And these are, in fact, in, in a lot of these cases, the one in Sokoka, Poland, they were accused, those two scientists, they were medicals in the medical school there in Sokoko, Poland, they were accused of killing someone and, and you know, putting that living heart tissue in there, and they had to send it to another medical school. So Satan's not happy about this, just like what Archbishop uh, Cordelion said, you know, Satan's not going to be happy about getting the truth out, because again, what are we doing to our children? We're confusing them, saying that, you know, you're, you're you know, you're, you're, you're just a, me a mess of molecules, there is no creator. Uh, right. You're lucky alive because your mom could have been a Hollywood movie star had you been in, instead, you know, and if she'd done the abortion instead. It's God is showing us. He knew we'd need this help right now, and boy, do we need it. So that's why we're doing this, and that's why we're doing this all over the country because um, we've lost reality. Truth is reality. And remember in John 18, what is Jesus? When Jesus is being interrogated by Pontius Pilate, Pontius Pilate says, you know, why are you here on planet Earth? And, and G what does Jesus say? To, to, to do social justice no to you know to, to save the environment no he says to proclaim the truth and then what does Pontius Pilate say back what to is him? he says what is truth? Veritas. what yeah. is truth? and truth was standing, that's where we are today and, and truth was standing right in front of him because truth was, Jesus truth said I is Jesus Christ yeah Jesus, Jesus said I am Jesus the way is the Eucharist he is the truth and he is the Eucharist and we've uh, lost that sense 70 percent of Catholics don't believe in the real presence so well, that's, we got to take a break we got to take another break can you believe it we got to take another break we're talking with Dr. Scott <laughs> French where can people find you Scott Scott at MajaCenter.com. MajaCenter. That's spelled M-A-G-I and then Center.com, right? Yeah, yeah. M-A-G-I-S. Scott okay. at M-A-G-I-S Center.com. MajaCenter.com. It's uh, the Father Spitzer's. That's Father Spitzer's site, great, yeah. great ministry. We'll be right back with more of the Bear Wozniak Adventure. This is Dan LaBoo Markham with another episode of Country Up. Regrets. We all got them. Well, at least those of us with a conscience and some years behind us. Regrets get highlighted as one ages, growing longer and wider in the shadows of life. In our later years, we see ourselves and view life with deeper and more honest reflection. I have regrets that stick with me all the while, knowing Jesus forgives me for my wrongs, but his forgiven and my remembrance at times seem to be at odds. My big ones are those sins not committed against God alone, but against those committed against God and another human being, even if they're forgiven me. Like unnecessarily breaking the hearts of two lovely ladies, or decide my ego was more important than divulging another's confidence. Younger folk, that is those under 50, can always say to themselves such things as, Oh, well, I'll, I'll make up for that, or in time I'll do better. Well, that's fine and good, I suppose. But nonetheless, regrets will loom and linger as the years pass. The Apostle Paul chose to navigate a course between regret and forget, writing, I haven't become perfect. I haven't arrived yet. But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind, I press on towards the goal, goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. We can't let regret hold us back. Yet let me suggest that some regret, and even for the long haul, might be good for us. Because Paul also wrote, This saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance. 
that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the foremost. Healthy regret and keeps us humble and reminds us to be thankful for the grace, mercy, and forgiveness of God and others. This is Daniel the Boone Markham at countryup.org on a journey a few miles this side of heaven. We invite our mama bears to join with us at deepadventure.com. You'll have access to all of the Long Ride Home TV shows even before they air on EWTN. Plus, three years of the shareable Ocean Sunrise daily catechism videos. Plus, at deepadventure.com, a 20% discount at our online store with all of our great t-shirts and clothes and books and rosaries and medals and all kinds of accessories. You'll also get an autographed copy of Bear's latest book, and for a limited time, a Catholic biker stuffed teddy bear. All at deepadventure.com. Come on, Mama Bears, let's hear you roar. Did you know that each Saturday morning you can receive the shareable YouTube video version of the Bear Wozniak adventure in our inspiring weekly newsletter, even before it airs on the radio or hits the podcast apps? Never miss another episode. You can even binge watch Bear's inspiring guests. Think about the impact you can have sharing these videos with your friends. Go to deepadventure.com and click the subscribe button. Be the kind of man that when he gets out of bed in the morning, the devil says, oh no, he's up. Go to deepadventure.com and invite Bear to speak. Aloha, welcome back to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. I want to invite the, the men out there to go to deepadventure.com and join the man cave. Uh, the man cave, we have monthly Zoom meetups. Non, it's a non-Facebook community. The men, uh, we challenge and encourage each other. And there's a lot of men out there that are just starting their way back to the Lord. This is a great place for you to get traction. Uh, one of the things we help men do is actually to kind of help start their own I guess I hate to call it a men's group because sometimes it can be a lot less formal than that, but help you connect with brothers, see what real brotherhood is like, and then kind of help you get in, start your own brotherhood or get involved in other men's groups that are, that are, that are available to you. But we really get gritty with each other. Uh, we call it grit and grace, you know, both. And then uh, we have the School of Manliness, which is, by the way, we all go through that together. It's about a two-and-a-half-year curriculum uh, that we have right now, and we go through one month of it at a time. And I think Dr. Scott's going to uh, put a couple of a couple chapters in there for us, a couple of months in there for us on the on this topic that he's talking about, and um, and uh, maybe you do one on the shroud and one on the Eucharistic miracles. We'll just put that right into the school of manliness. But um, but the uh, it's a great way for fathers to lead their sons closer to the Lord because you can go through the school of manliness with your son. You can lead him through the videos, the audio, the written content, the self assessments, and setting uh, new trajectories in their life. So please come and join the man cave at deepadventure.com. Uh, by the way, our new TV show, A Long Ride Home Season 4, is out. 11 episodes all filmed in Hawaii. And if you come up, become a member of the Mamba Bears or, or the Man Cave, you get access to all 33 episodes, uh, the YouTube version, the private, uh, the, private uh, the secret YouTube uh, episodes so that you can share those with your friends. It's Dr. Scott French, welcome back. So we've been talking about uh, the Eucharistic miracles, uh, the, 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 um, 21st century Eucharistic miracles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and there there's others and like you said, there's others before that. You talked about the one in the in the eighth century. Um and it, it's interesting how some of these the priest them I think the one in the eighth century wasn't the priest yeah, the priest the priest was doubting and and right in front of the congregation. Actually the original Eucharistic miracle is the same thing, the Balsano uh miracle in the twelve hundreds that uh St. Thomas Aquinas then did uh, the Corpus Christi feast on. That was also a traveling priest from Germany that, that doubted. So the one in Lanciano, Italy, uh, right in front of the congregation, the uh, host turned into tissue. Again, they didn't have microscopes. They didn't know it was, they didn't know it was heart tissue. That but, wasn't we, but we've inspected it now. Word. Yeah, but we've, but we've, we've been able to study and, that, and, and, that host and the, now. And the wine turned into blood. Yeah. Um, so and so so the of course the whole town then then <laughs> believed in the real presence. But the, I think that's uh, that's a great yeah. teaching because yeah. oh, it doesn't yeah. the priest doesn't have to even if he's ordained as a priest he has that 
that that uh, the primacy of Peter, the the the, the apostolic um, succession, and the and that it, so it doesn't matter even if he doesn't have the faith when he's when he's working when he's operating in persona Christi when he's when he's doing his his priestly duties. Uh, it's not how his personal holiness or belief anymore. Right. It's just it's just the it's just the sacrament yeah. of the Lord. So now tie this together with um, with the shroud of Turin. So uh, so again, the shroud of Turin, as we said earlier, has type AB blood. But before one get, get into yeah, more into that, yeah. of Turin is that I just want to emphasize what you said earlier, and that is you know it's a great time to be alive, and your men's group is really uh, appropriate now because. God has has shown up and said, "Hey guys, let me help out." And so we can join him or not. But you know, evil is really active. Well, guess what? When when sin abounds, so, so does grace. And so mm-hmm. that's what's happening. We have the grace of these 21st century Eucharistic miracles, so we can debate when this whole thing that you know it's been proven God doesn't exist and all. That. In fact, it's just the opposite. In fact, mm-hmm. to, in today's world more physicists now believe in a creator god because the big bang theory who was concocted by a catholic priest, priest working yeah. with 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 uh, einstein has been proven that yeah there there you know that we, the, we do live in a, a universe and something outside of time and space created it where all the constants the gravitation all all were set for a life permitting universe that's the physical that's world. the amazing thing is, is now we, we, the, we've had yes. a, we had several guests that have talked with us about about that now i want to ask you um about uh, <clears throat> to go deeper into the shroud of turn now and how we've uh, yeah. How we've how that has been validated, you know. I, I'm sure you've been there too. To the to Jerusalem, there's the there's the hotel there uh, 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 across from the city. Yeah, the hotel, yeah, the Jerusalem hotel that it, has that, that full scale model. And there's now one in Scra- Salamanca. Yeah, but yeah, that that so, one is is the one. The other yeah. one is white. This is actually more of a bronze color. Yeah, uh, the yeah. one in Jerusalem, and it's and it's based on the Shroud of Turin, and the Shroud of Turin provided us a three dimensional image of Jesus, and it's Correct. gnarly to go in there and. Yeah. And yeah. be in the presence yeah. of that that it's still yeah, really he's laying, it. yeah. Oh yeah. my goodness! It yeah, makes it's, everything. It's, yeah, it's, it's it's moving. So, so what? What you started out about talking about the shroud of Turin, about the carbon fourteen dating, and what the, what we found out is there's all these other tests that have been done, the X ray scattering, which is uh, um, uh, more recent. But really, what was discovered is that there was the fire of Chambray in 1532, and the poor Claire nuns validate that they were. They were studying and they were repairing where the fire was. Uh, the Shroud of Turn has been in two two major fires. There's one in 1996. Satan doesn't want the Shroud of Turn to be around because it's evidence of the resurrection. Like we said, it's on the upper 2.2 microns. It's a 3D perfect image. Every every square inch of the bodies on there when you put a towel or a sheet over something you don't see every square inch you see the nose and it's the ears because it passed like through the body when he when Be- he because rose. what happens the transfiguration in, in, in the gospels about the transfiguration that's a um that's a prefiguration of the resurrection because that light energy is coming the transfiguration when his face was shown in white that's that that light energy is coming from the body not from heaven it's coming from the body yes that's and and so it's between there's two theories it's either six to eight billion watts of pure laser light energy over one forty billionth of a second otherwise it would vaporize the cloth uh, or it's um, nuclear degeneration, spontaneous low low temperature, which explains a lot of the enigmas. We, we don't have time to get into all that. But, but, but no, but this, this this is significant, I think, because there's there would be no ability for anybody at this moment in time to replicate the shroud. You can't we do don't it, have... and it's a three D image, and they only discover that because they put it under the uh, VP8 analyzer that they developed for the moon to see the height of the mountains for the lunar landing. But we got to go back to the the shroud and the dating, and that is so the poor Claire nuns they they document it. Well, the, what they found was there's cotton fibers in there. Well, this is a linen garment made out of flax. So they 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 sampled the burned area that was repaired. That's and crazy. so that's why it dates because cotton didn't exist in the Middle East until around the year 800, and mm. didn't get to Europe until about the year 1200. So basically, but now we're looking at the other part of the shroud, and we're. Finding but, out, but now, yeah, but uh, there's so much evidence that I mean, it's overwhelming. It, it would take a, a, two more programs to go over. Well, all the talk evidence. about some of them. I, I mean, I think one of the things that are fascinating is just the, the pollen that they found, or like uh, yeah, the, the pollen is great because um, 
uh, because uh, it shows the journey of the Shroud of Turin. So the the first pollen samples that they found, so they in, in 1980, uh, 1978, when they did the original study, they they had this uh, expert called Max Fry, who was kind of like uh, European CSI. And he would look for pollen samples and stuff and be able to say, well, this person was in Germany, you know, because this plant only grows in Germany. So he vacuumed. <laughs> I always say he just had a side job to work as work as the, the maintenance guy. He, uh, he vacuumed the shroud and he got all these pollen samples. Well, they were able to 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 place some of the pollen samples in Constantinople. We know it was in Constantinople. Because we know it was there, yeah. It had spent its time. It was time stolen in, in 1204 with the Fourth Crusade. Right. Um, and so we know it was there, and and um, and and we know it was, it, uh, was in France. Uh, it, it went from to Leary, France, from there, from Constantinople, and then eventually to Turin. Turin was actually part of France originally. Uh, it was a Savoy family, so that's why how it ended up in 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 Turin, which was part of France at the time, because it was the Knights Templar that stole that stole the shroud. It looks like, and um, uh, so so there, but there was a sample pollen fragments that were uh, in the head area where the crown of thorns were that they, they just couldn't identify. So he made a trip down to Jerusalem, and just by coincidence, <laughs> just by coincidence, Holy Spirit action pollen plan. fragments matched a plant that only grows near Jerusalem, and and only grows in the springtime. So he really was crucified in the springtime. Oh so, my so, goodness! So I always say, listen, yeah, it's entirely possible that aliens from outer space did that because they'd have the technology, all that. But they'd also have had to read the Bible to do it, so it was exactly as depicted as in the Bible. They also would have to travel through time, because right, it, that all relates to 750, you know, go back to, to, to time. And so, can we just say it was God that <laughs> Yeah, well, they, isn't so, there, the, 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 we gotta take so, a break, we gotta take a break. We're talking with Dr. Scott French. Uh, he's been traveling uh, the country and he's working uh, for Archbishop Corleone in San Francisco, visiting all the parishes, to, talking about the Shroud of Turin and the Eucharistic miracles. Where can they find you, Scott? Scott at MajaCenter.com. It's spelled Maja Center for everybody. Yeah, M-A-G-I-S Center, C-E-N-T-E-R.com. Okay, we'll give you A-plus on your spelling today. <laughs> we'll be right back with more of the Bear Wozniak Adventure. People love our EWTN TV show, Long Ride Home with Bear Wozniak. Thanks to you, the show has won four different tally awards. And now, instead of waiting each week for the next episode to air, you can actually binge watch our show and even share it with your friends when you go to deepadventure.com and join the Mama Bears or the Man Cave. Along with all the other benefits, you get total access to all the seasons of our aired episodes, plus instant access to episodes that won't even air for several months. Long Ride Home with Bear Wozniak, a great way to communicate the gospel in a gritty enough way that even tough men will stop and watch at deepadventure.com. Deep Adventure Ministries is grateful to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union for underwriting the Bear Wozniak adventure on EWTN. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union provides car loans, mortgages, SBA loans, and depository accounts nationwide, as well as 24-hour support. Go to deepadventure.com to find their link, or go to notredamefcu.com. Mahalo to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union for making the Bear Wozniak adventure possible. When you go to the Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure YouTube channel, you get access to all of our free playlists, including hundreds of episodes of the Bear Wozniak Adventure, plus the three-year journey through the whole catechism in our Ocean Sunrise Catechism series. And you even get short clips and live streaming of Bear and Cindy's Adventures in Paradise videos. Go to YouTube and subscribe to the Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure channel. still listening i thought we warned you to change to an easy listening station while well, you asked for it here is more of the bear wozniak adventure aloha welcome back to the bear wozniak adventure you know why we call it the bear wozniak adventure it's because 
every person is on an adventure. And you're just joining me for a while on mine. God has a story. He has a plan for your life, a purpose for your life. And, uh, and, uh, and, and your job is just to draw closer to him and say that the most dangerous prayer in the world, thy will be done. And when you say that, stuff happens. And I think uh, Scott, our guest today, Dr. Scott French, probably prayed that dangerous prayer once because he's been busy ever since. <laughs> uh, so we're, we're talking more about, about the Shroud of Turin uh, and the, the miracle that, it, that I mean, it's, it's undeniable. It's undeniable scientifically, but yet it's but it's 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 literally now do do we do, well, we you do a good job in our, we do a good job in our current culture of suppressing the truth. I mean, now what that's, about, that's why that's why that's why God has shown us these miracles to say, you know, let me help you out because uh, the truth speaks for its fails, because, again, science is based on observation. So science can't see a supernatural event. But it can record a supernatural event. No, so no, that's let's, what the Shroud of Turin is. It's it's actually the result of a supernatural event, just like the Eucharistic miracle. So we can't see the transubstantiation, although when the Sokoko Poland miracle is is caught in mid to septa transubstantiation. Yes, you can see the evidence. So that's what's really cool. I mean, God is just shouting. Isn't and there so, isn't there one of the one of the Eucharistic miracles where um, it's the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus, but the outer part of it is still the bread? So yeah, it's that's like the right one. in that's the middle the of, of but you it's, but it, under electron microscopy you can't tell where the bread stops and the heart tissue begins and that's what these these two scientists in medical school they're ah you guys are lying they sent it to another medical school yeah i mean all these people are non and when they send it to the medical they school they don't I, they don't identify what it is they're they're just saying this is a no a, they, a, they don't a even tissue know like sa- I told you the sample, original yeah. one was zugabi the with the original one for buenos aires that he you know the findings came out in 2005 he's and w- when they told him that it was from a piece of heart tissue a piece of bread he said i don't believe it i mean you're, you're getting, yeah and of course, he became a believer. Well, All these people were initially non-believers, and it just and that's points how the Catholic to the Church does with miracles because you want people that validate that you know that don't have this bias. It's not a know. casual acceptance of miracles. It's, it goes no, through scrutiny. No, so let I me ask you this: cool. I love that about the church. So let me ask you this question: um, the the um, facial, what was the, the the you know the one that has the image of Jesus, his face? Doesn't yeah. that have some time? Yeah, the, the Sudarium Orviedo. So yeah. that's why that's uh, that's why that's mentioned. Remember in John uh, twenty, is it John twenty when uh, the Sudarium? Remember the roll the, the cloth rolled up on the side. Well, we have that, and they have a Provence. In other words, they they can date it back to six hundred based on this bishop gave it to that bishop. You get that bishop. We can follow and the history of it. Yeah, it has hundred twenty blood stains. And those clever aliens from outer space, it happens just to match the the, the image on the shroud of Turin. And then here's even really even and the even, and the blood, right? The blood isn't that? Yeah, the blood. It's type AB blood. Same and as it, on the shroud of Turin. The blood stains on the shroud of Turin, so they touch yeah. the same face. Um, oh and my so, gosh! And then what's even cooler that uh, so in the mouth of two witnesses, let everything be established, right? That's the yes. scripture. You've got yeah. two exact eyewitnesses. When you compare yeah. those two, yeah. wow! Yeah, and then also remember Saint Faustina; she uh, w- saw had visions of of Jesus, and he directed her to do the Divine Mercy painting. Well, when they finally found the original, because they had to hide it from the um, from the uh, Nazis and then the uh, Soviets um, and the communists, um, they found that if you do a computer overlay. The face of Jesus matches the Shroud of Turin. And Saint Faustina had never seen the Shroud of Turin. Yeah, praise so you, Jesus. Let, let's I just mean, take a moment to say thank you, Lord. We <laughs> love you, Jesus. Yeah. He's, let, he is shouting to us. Hey, guys, want to see something interesting? <laughs> well, let's do <laughs> this too. If, if people really <laughs> want to learn more about this, they can go to themagiscenter.com. Yes. And Father Robert yes. Spitzer has a tremendous amount of books, and you. Uh, on it too, but and it's, articles. It's, There's all these articles about all the different scientific experiments. We we could go on. I mean, we could well, go you know on, what's on, what, on what's mind blowing uh-huh. about you, you and, and and Father Spitzer too is is that you, he, he speaks in mathematical terms, biological terms, physical, ter, you know, physics, uh, 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 historical terminology. I mean, he just covers. He's just so smart. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, but, he's, a, he, but, he's a modern day Thomas Aquinas. He's a yeah, he is. Movie. Yeah, he is. We yeah. love him. We love him. Uh, so yeah. now yeah. let's tie this all the way back now to the bishops uh, asking us now to, to really focus once again on the reality. We have just a few minutes left on the reality of the body, blood, soul, and divinity. When Jesus said these words, unless you eat... Now, Cindy told me this the other day. We were studying Genesis, and she said, isn't it interesting how in the New Testament God said, thou shalt not eat? But then Jesus basically said, thou shalt eat. He said, unless you That's eat right. of my body and drink of my That's blood, right. you have no part in me. He's telling us we need we need to consume. Isn't that interesting that we know that that by doing, you know, an athlete knows you are what you eat. When you receive the Eucharist, you, yeah. the early church fathers called it being divinized, D-I-V-I-N-I-Z-E-D. We, as when we're baptized in the Lord and we receive the sacraments, we actually become part of the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ. We're brought right up there in the midst of that Trinitarian uh, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We're right there. We're not on the outside looking in as the angels do. Saint, Saint Ignatius of Antioch called it the medicine of immortality. Mm. Medicine of immortality, which is mm. it's true, right? Yeah. So we get incorporated into the body, and that's what we see now with these 21st century Eucharistic miracles. So, it, yeah, it, Jesus is the Eucharist, and and he and this plan was in place before the dawn of time because <laughs> and that remember to me it's it's a sacrifice and a sacrament and that's mm. he instituted that and in, in, you know in, in and the remembrance is is, is matthew 26 the, and then john 6 you know we say you know it unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood you have no life in you because again what this is the other thing that's really important to get across to people is that we've lost the sense that life doesn't come from the physical world right the physical mm, world is mm, our bodies Well are. said, yeah. But the thing that, that animates us is separate. That's the spirit world. And that's what happens with these near-death experiences. Your, your, your soul separates from your body. Your body is dying. And it, for it to come back, the soul has to re-enter the body. That's what you have <laughs> these near-death experiences. And that's what it, and yeah. so people, we've lost that, that. That's why you can't download your mind on a computer because your mind is alive computers aren't alive well and said. so we've lost that sense and that's really and 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 part of what we're doing really the most important part is getting to the schools getting to our kids going going to the high schools and the colleges and i give talks all over because it's our kids that have been indoctrinated that there's all there is in the material world no we are in soul bodies that's what we've lost a sense of and so that's what's really important that gives, to get that gives us hope to us human beings that yes that because uh jesus made us and 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 Jesus himself became man he I asked people this kind of credit this key question did Jesus have one will or two wills well he had two wills because he was all God and all man and so you see this man who is joined a, to his he had father a human soul and then he had divine so he's a divine so, so person he has both with two natures with two yeah natures, so, right. so with two natures so so yeah. he he um he, he as he, he as, 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 as the Word of God, the eternal Word of God, the Son of God, was never separated from his father. Right. Uh, but at his death, that, that, uh, that uh, moment of death is really when the soul leaves the body. Right. You know, so his soul separated from, his, his human soul separated from, from his body um, uh, and, and then re-entered that human body and was resurrected. And that's and that body and that body is being viewed by God. He's at the right hand of he's God. Right See, there. Our real yeah. home is in heaven. It's yeah. not Mother Earth. Our real home is that we need to take care of Mother Earth. But our real father and mother are our spiritual and, life come, does not come from the physical and so, world. And so you as a human being, you you know, you may have been conceived, your parents maybe didn't want you. You might have been even conceived in a rape. Maybe you were a testing baby. I don't know. But your human body, that, that DNA was provided by your mother and your father. But at the moment of that conception, God the Father, Abba Father, Daddy in heaven said, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to create this beautiful, unique, unique individual, yes. spiritual, rational soul with gifts and talents and abilities, maybe some limitations that help guide you into the, into the path that I want you to to, to go. He has a beautiful plan 
for your I want life. you to join me in heaven. That's what it, he want. I want you to join you in heaven. That's what God is saying. I want you to join me in heaven. And remember, I, I formed you in the womb. Before I knew you, I formed you in the womb. I That's knew what, you before you were formed in the womb. Right. Uh, well, so right. we got to go, yeah. Dr. Scott French. Uh, where can people find you? <laughs> Scott at magiscenter.com, M A G I S center.com. Can you believe how fast this time goes? Uh, this, I know. Uh, we we got we, we to roll. This is the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, please go to our website, deepadventure.com, and become a mama bear. We love you, mama bears. And, uh, or become a member of the Man Cave. And go to our, our store. Oh, my gosh, we have the best stuff in our store. You can get all my books autographed. Or you can go to Amazon.com, and you can buy my new book, uh, 12 Rules for Manliness, Where Have All the Cowboys Gone? Until next week, may the breath of the Holy Spirit aloha you. You want to aloha with me, Scott? May the breath right. of the Holy Spirit aloha you. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> That's the way we do it in Hawaii. Thanks for listening to the Bear Wasting Adventure. Find more manly conversation at the Bear Wasting Deep Adventure YouTube channel. Subscribe and ring the bell.